Buenos dias, welcome to the Beast Den. About to jump into a quick interview and then the day continues as we drop off Mika. She's gonna be doing some nails and yeah, we'll go from there. If you are a busy mom and serial entrepreneur and you need a system that is not complicated, I wanted to show you exactly how it is that I have created a schedule that allows me to be ultra productive and will help you as well. It is the day blocking system. I'm sure you've heard of the time blocking system, but my day blocking system really just allows me to focus on my top three things, which for today are conducting shop interviews. I have a client meeting and then I have uh, the finalization of the Synergy and Motherhood and Business course recordings. I found that the time blocking system was just too stringent. And for me, and probably for you, if you're juggling schooling, if you're juggling extracurriculars, businesses, career, you need something that can flow with you, not against you. And this system really does allow you to simplify your entire schedule. The last thing you need is another organization workflow with 20 steps that you can't keep up with. Let's get real. Okay, so at this point I'm going to go home and I have to start getting ready for my meeting. Uh, so far it's been a pretty busy day. <sighs> uh, but this is what it is, trying to create content on the go. going to do and the first thing I like to do when I clock into work is open up my ClickUp which if you've watched my other videos and if you're in the Synergy and Motherhood and Business course you know is my preferred tax task <laughs> manager. Uh, it's just a system that I have been working with my trainer on for about two years and it's a system that I have found works best for me. I do have the mobile app as well and it's what I use across our multiple businesses. I like to look through my social media calendar, make sure that whatever content I had scheduled or planned for today across our businesses. So anything that I get accomplished is literally just a cherry on top. So on this particular day, it's technically a Sloan the Beast business day. So I'm doing things like vlogging, I'm following up with clients, I'm updating my course. The interview, which like I said, is on my top three things, was actually just a rollover from the day before, which was a shop day, but I had to reschedule it. And this is what I love about this day blocking system. It's really flexible. So because you're only focusing on your top three priorities, if you need to rotate something into a different day you can do that. So at that. this point I have been recording my modules for quite a bit of time. I'm going to change my pants because it is freezing. It is so cold. In Florida today it is freezing cold and I can't take it. I need to throw some sweatpants on because I am just so cold. Let's go get lunch. Meeting is over and done with at this point here. So I'm going to grab some lunch and then probably come home and get some more work done. I'm not going to bring my computer just because I need to detach. <laughs> I think I need to start a series on how many times do I change in the day. Oh look, the sun. 
Picking up lunch, my husband asked me to meet mommy, him at the barbershop so that he can give He goes out haircuts. Now because having three boys, sons of barbers, with <laughs> long hair, it's really important for us to at least keep their shape up nice and clean. Hey. Um, but they're all five and under, so it it's a mission to get it all done, but I'm grateful that at least, you know, this is a service that we have to pay for and it's our business. So if my kids act out, it's all good. This was your base, that's our safe face. Back at home, unfortunately, our refrigerator has been broken for a couple days. At this point, uh, by the time this video goes up, it's been about a week and a half. Uh, so I was just emptying it out and wrapping up the remainder of my day with just confirming what got done and creating a quick to-do list for the next day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one, which is going to be all about how it is that I travel solo without my kids.